Jack Hop Henry Johnson. Well, sitting pretty comfy right now, to be honest with you. Um, but uh, now, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and happy 4th of July. Um, that's if, I don't know when Derek's going to put this video out, but it's recorded around. It's 4th of July weekend. Yeah, it's 4th of July weekend, so happy 4th of July to everyone. But uh, with it being the 4th this week, we uh, or I made a little spare time for us to, uh, or for me to work on the buggy this week, just because I don't get a lot of spare time, and uh, I had, so I just made some spare time to get some stuff knocked out on this thing. And as you can see, we got some seats in here. We've got our uh, extra lower bar down here that we talked about in the last video. Um, really, I mean, as you can see with the seats in here now, before your foot was just kind of chilling out right here, and uh, I did not like that at all. So uh, we got this extra bar in here, and like I said before, this whole side will end up getting paneled, so my feet won't be able, or whoever's riding, their feet will not be able to come out of here. So uh, we was able to get a good bit accomplished this week. We uh, or this weekend per se, but uh, we also bought a lot of parts over the past uh, week and a half. Uh, spend a little bit more money than I want to, but hey, you can uh, it's hard to turn down good deals. So, we'll kind of go over and uh, show y'all what all we've gotten done to this thing over the past week or so, week or so, and kind of all the parts that we've bought too, because I've gotten some really good deals, and uh, it's going to end up being a little bit nicer than what I was uh, at, in, at first originally uh, wanting to build, but I mean, that's how they usually go anyways so but nothing wrong with that nothing though. wrong with that we uh we have run into one really big issue should we go over it now or wait uh, yeah you can kind of talk about it okay so the biggest issue is is i don't know if any, anybody that rides knows that you have to have your trail sodas and uh for you that do ride y'all know what trail sodas are but uh we ain't got nowhere to put a cooler in this thing and that's going to be a real big issue for uh riding so uh we're going to have to definitely do some modifying to be able to fit a cooler somewhere in this thing, but we're going to make it happen. Um, really didn't think about it until just the other day, but yeah, we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to pick a spot. Um, y'all, uh, leave a comment of where y'all think we should try to put one. I've got a few ideas of where we might be able to fit a smaller cooler and stuff like that, but, uh, that's my two requirements. I got to have a cooler and I've got to have a soundbar to listen to music while we ride. So, like I said before, not gonna be a race rig or anything like that. Not doing open headers. They're obnoxiously loud. I wanna be able to enjoy myself while we ride in this thing. So, uh, this thing will be getting a full exhaust. We will have either some speakers back here or a nice soundbar. It's got all the controls up here. I wanna be able to enjoy this thing. So, um, right yeah. Right now it looks like you're Guys, gonna be carrying all your trail soda. Yeah, right. yes, <laughs> yes. The uh, camera guy, aka Derek, is gonna be uh, carrying all of our supplies and tools and everything like that. But uh, y'all should also leave a comment of what y'all think he should get. He's either gonna keep his XJ or buy a Razor. So y'all leave a comment of what y'all think he should uh, get to come riding with us once we get this thing done. But uh, Derek can kind of pan out a little bit, and y'all can kind of see this thing's starting to look like a buggy a little bit. So uh, probably just start on the front of this thing, work our way back. Um, as you can see in the front, we got all of our little stobs and everything welded in, or our end caps all welded in. Cleaned this up a lot. So got all that done. The next big thing that you're probably looking at is, is that we do have coolovers. So um, ended up getting really uh, looked out found these on marketplace they only got a couple rides on them they've been sitting for a year or so but they ain't got much use on them ended up buying all four corners uh, for this thing and for a I mean a smoking deal I actually went and met the guy last weekend and picked them up and it also uh, actually might jump around a little bit so they work front to back but it also worked out in our favor because it was uh, they're not all four matching the uh, he had two uh, two fourteens and two twelves um so they ended up working out well because our rear axle and stuff was not trust they uh it didn't have trust on it but already had coilover mounts and everything so obviously if i was to trust it that trust is going to have to be raised up over the axle and raised the right height in the rear which i didn't want to do so uh with having that shorter coilover uh we did those on the rear and as you can see we started working on the rear truss but um the difference in overall length 
with the trust is now the same because of the trust, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, started getting the rear truss, got the cool over mounts redone on it. It's not done. I'm either going to end up putting some triangulation bars in here or get my buddy with a plasma table to just cut it out an eighth inch thick sheet that goes on each side and welds in to finish trussing this thing. Um, I on, think that would look good. Which one? Uh, the plasma. The, the plasma? The sheet. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think we'll do that just uh, because um, anybody that uh, does a lot of wheeling and knows anything about boogies, most people don't use stock axle tubes and stuff anymore, but this one's all sock axle tubes so I think doing that eighth inch plate all the way around through there will help strengthen this whole thing um, another thing on the rear side one reason why I did want to trust it and stuff is is because I'm probably gonna go ahead and put bump stops on the rear which gives us a place to land bump stop pads and everything and then also gives us a place because I'm gonna run an anorock sway bar so the anorock will go somewhere up underneath here and then uh, the link will tie in to the top side of the truss so uh, Got all that squared away, but um, excited because now it's got cool overs all the way around it, and the next uh, next step is getting this thing on the ground. But um, we'll move back over into the inside of this thing. Like I said before, we got our uh, bar put in here to keep our feet in. Um, I know in the last video I said we had transfer case and transmission coming. It didn't show up in time for that video, but it is in here now. Um, we did have to cut the transmission mount and the uh, transfer case mount. I've got the transmission mount um, flipped around the way that it needs to be. It just needs to be tacked in and then welded once I pull everything back out. I still have to do the transfer case mount, um, but going to work on that once we start pulling it back apart a little bit. And another thing is, is we're going to have to move our battery. Um, the battery tray is right here up underneath the seat. But with the Turbo 400, like I said, it moves everything back. I think it was an inch and three quarters. So that actually put the back side of the transfer case into the battery tray area. So we're going to cut all that out. And um, I'm actually going to move the battery tray up here, up underneath the dash. It'll have the battery tray right in here and have that right there. But pretty much the, all, all the electronics are going to be right in here anyways. So I think it'd be, it's going to be a lot easier and simpler for wiring having the battery right here. Um, but get that. Um, also, another thing, found a steel deal in a set of uh, seats. Um, these are Aces Racing. They're out in California, and they do a lot of like dune dune stuff. But uh, they also make seats for razors and everything like that. But uh, follow them on Instagram, and they just so happened to have a set of seats that a customer returned. I don't know if he didn't like them, didn't really ask. But whenever they got them back, they had a tiny I mean like just an eighth inch little slit down here on the bottom of this it's actually right there um, I don't care about that because these seats are gonna get abused inside this thing so I got a smoking deal on these things and uh, they fit good they're honestly super comfortable or at least I think they are they compare to a PRP or anything like that so uh, super happy with that uh, what else have we gotten so far what am I forgetting oh yeah I bought I bought something else I'll go grab them real quick this is where that, like, making this thing a little bit nicer than what I was expecting to do comes into play. So we got two boxes here. I know I kind of mentioned one of these uh, that we might be doing, but I did not want to put a stock harness in this thing in an ECU just because <coughs> I don't like the way they look. You don't have a whole lot of options with them. And then by the time you pay somebody to... Uh, cut down a harness and everything like that. You have as much money as you do in like a Terminator or something like that. So we end up having a customer that was selling his car. So we end up buying his Terminator uh, off of his car and uh, that's what we will be running in this thing. Just to I'll show y'all, most of y'all know what these look like, but <coughs> oh, I got cough, can't get rid of. Got Terminator X, um, all this will be mounted up underneath the dash. Um, but yeah, that's not nothing too crazy pretty standard nowadays on builds and stuff like that but it just simplifies everything we do have to buy the harness and everything for it we got the main power harness and everything like that we just got to buy the engine harness for the motor um, he was going to be running one of the new um, Godzilla motors in his car so obviously the harness off that would not work on this but the next thing that we bought is and this is where we get a little fancy is we ended up buying a 7 inch holly screen for this thing um, I'm pretty excited about it just because <coughs> I 
I hate the way the analog gauges and stuff look in there. And this gives us a whole lot of options for this thing. Um, for one, this allows me to be able to run a fuel sending unit inside of the fuel tank and stuff like that, which I will end up doing. So um, it's just going to clean everything up, simplify everything, and it's going to make for, like I said, it's going to make this thing really nice and come together super nice too. But I think that's all the parts that we have gotten so far. Am I forgetting anything? Uh, you got some other parts in the works, but <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of. I pretty much got a deal working out right now to where pretty much about all the rest of the big parts for all the axles and everything like that will be. Uh, I should have, and uh, it's gonna make. They're a little bit nicer than what I was wanting to buy, but it's a good deal on them, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it, and uh, it's gonna make this piece super nice. Seems to be a trend here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everything's getting upgraded a little more along the way. Yeah. The, uh, the only reason, like I said, I'm doing this is, is because I'm getting really good deals. I can all this stuff, the seats, this, the motor, the actual stuff that we're getting, I'm getting a really good deal in it. So uh, might as well just spend a little bit of extra money and make this thing super nice. But uh, once we get all that stuff, um, really the only other, hopefully have that stuff next week and get this thing back into a roller. And then um, really the only other big part after that is going to be uh, tires. And uh, like I said in the last video, our two options are going to be TSL Sticky, 43 inch Sticky, or the uh, Mickey Thompson X uh, Stickies that they make. So uh, that'll be our two options there. But this thing's coming along super nice. We still need a name for the buggy. So if anybody uh, has, has an idea for a name, let us know because we need to name this project here soon and uh, it just needs a name every project needs a name so we need some help with that but um <coughs> this is uh this is actually project two posts because it was supposed <laughs> to be a two post lift over there yeah. and that lift turned into a buggy yeah it did partially that, that, that's my fault for sure <laughs> but, ain't uh, that wrong with it we'll have more fun with this than yeah. the lift yeah we will we'll have a lot more fun but <clears throat> we still got a long ways to go with this project, but we, uh, we've made a lot of progress over the past uh, week and a half and stuff like that. And uh, I'm excited to keep uh, showing y'all as we go on this thing. And like I said, I'm no, no expert at all uh, whenever it comes to buggies and stuff like that. So it's been a nice little learning curve. It's been nice working and doing fab work on something other than race cars. So I've enjoyed that a lot. But uh, I, uh, we kind of got a deadline of whenever we want this thing done. And... Uh, what are, you, what are you trying to get to this year? So the big thing is, is we always go, like I said, we've, we've always been uh, into riding and stuff like that. And usually every year we always go to RBD. Um, it's been at Hawk Pride for like the past like five or six years. So uh, that's the big thing. We want to get it ready to uh, go back out there. I missed last year. So I uh, want to get ready to go back out to Hawk Pride and, uh, for RBD. But uh, really we need it done, you know, uh, really sick. Uh, I really need it done almost two months before Hawk Pride because I'm getting married and got a bunch of stuff going on in October. So the month of October is pretty much out for me. And then, uh, you know, you really don't want to be riding the month that you're going on a big ride or something like that. Just in case something does break, you're not going to be able to get it. More likely, you're not going to be able to get parts, get it fixed in time. So um, <clears throat> we really need this thing done and have a few rides on it sometime in September, which I know sounds like a long ways away, but that's only about, what, two months? Two. I mean, yeah, you got like two and a half. Yeah, two and a half months. So um, that's why I've been kind of getting the ball rolling on all these parts and getting everything going, um, because we still got a lot to do. But um, it's coming along. It's coming together really good. But uh, we, uh, this is all the big stuff. We still got a lot of the nitty gritty stuff to get done. So uh, that's why we're trying to get going with it. And uh, I think we've kind of picked out the color combo that we want to go. I think we. Sh I mean, I've already kind of told y'all what I've what I, my idea was but uh pretty much the whole chassis is going to go this teal color that our logo is so the whole chassis will be teal our intake wheels um diff covers pretty much all of our accent colors are going to go gold and then our b-lock rings will be teal and then um all of our side panels and stuff like that that we do we're going to have wrapped with a custom wrap by one of our friends and stuff like that so this thing's going to going to be sweet whenever it's all said and done but uh super excited about it um we appreciate y'all watching these videos it seems like y'all really liked the last video that we done of the buggy so we're probably gonna start doing uh 
pumping out some more videos on this project and some of just our after hour stuff so uh we appreciate y'all guys watching like i said leave a comment of a name for this thing and uh we will catch y'all in the next video and happy fourth of july